Hi, I'm Bob Terrio, and I come to you from the unceded territories of the Qualicum and Comox First Nations and thank them for the use of their lands. If you've been listening to the ArrayCast podcast over the last couple of months, you'll know that me and a number of other people have been working to overhaul the JWiki. Frankly, it's a task that's long overdue, and it will require the entire community to accomplish it. That's why I'm talking to you now. Over the next couple of months, I'm going to be doing a weekly series of video that will tell you the changes that we're making and the updates that we're doing to it, as well as giving you opportunities to participate in that process. This is the first video in that series. To begin, why did the JWiki require revamping in the first place? Well, the JWiki is a bit of a sprawly thing that has grown whenever there was interest in a particular topic. Unfortunately, this meant that there was less follow-up on the pages to ensure that the information was current once the interest had moved on. A counterexample to this is Nuvok, which has been supported as an important resource for J programmers, and Nuvok is certainly one of the foundations that we'll build upon. Another issue is that outside of Nuvok, it can be difficult to locate the information you want, and even harder to find your way back to it if you do locate it. We hope to change that as we revamp the wiki, but in the meantime, we can suggest a few tricks that might be useful in using the wiki as it is now. First, did you know that there's a custom JWiki search panel written by Chris Burke that allows you to search the wiki specifically for J terms? You can even do a reject search using this tool. It sits on the sidebar which is available on every single page of the wiki, and yet few people are aware of it. You can do a search for J idioms, such as plus insert, and it will return these from wherever they're located in the wiki. And a second secret that Chris shared with me recently, when you find a page that is useful, bookmark it in your browser so you can quickly find it again. It is a simple trick, but it's the best way to quickly recapture the knowledge that you've found. And in the process, you will start to develop an incredible useful history of what you find valuable in the wiki, which will be important when we look for information required to improve the navigation tools for everyone. The last thing that I'll show you came about through the efforts of a team headed by Joe Bogner and Will Gahate, and that is the J Playground. What is a J Playground, you ask? Well, it's a way to play with J without having to download or install any program on your computer. It's a self-contained version of J that will run in your browser. Over the next few months, it will become more developed as we explore the many plans that we have for it. That's the most important part, your responses. If you are already a user of the JWiki, you can leave your comments there. If you're not a user of the JWiki, consider becoming one. It's as easy as sending us an email and we can give you access to it. And at the very least, you can leave messages on these videos. Leave your comments on these videos. And don't be thinking that if you're not an experienced J user, you don't have a value. In fact, if you are not an experienced J user, you have even more value to us because you have fresh eyes. Your first impressions can tell us exactly where the challenges are when you come to learning J. And that can make things a lot easier for people as they follow along. So, Look forward to talking to you on future videos, showing you some of the stuff that we've done and your participation. And I wish you every success in your journey in learning Jay.